Hi, my name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is a step-by-step -step on the formation of a galaxy. So let's go back to the early stages uh, of the universe. Here we have 300,000 uh, light years right after the Big Bang. We were going through an era of recombination. And what happened during recombination is that the, the universe had cooled down enough after those years to actually form atoms. So before this, electrons and protons and neutrons were all flying apart. And finally, during recombination, we got baryonic matter, which means things made out of atoms, uh, ordinary matter, stuff that we know. So during this era, the density of the universe changed a little bit. We had a lot of light elements, and then we also had dark matter. Dark matter is a, is a particle that we're still searching for, but it's a very heavy particle that rarely interacts. So it behaves very different than any other particle you know. So it doesn't really follow um, the behavior of the particles we know. It doesn't follow the gravitational fields and so, and so forth. But they account for 25% of the mass of the universe. So uh, dark matter is very important. And then uh, after we have this lumps of ordinary matter, things will start breaking off into their own and they have their own gravitational bounds now. And um, once they break off, uh, it took about, it took some time, but 500,000 um, million years after the Big Bang, we actually started forming the galaxies. So what happens here is that we have gravitational instability in these lumps of density, and it collapses under its own gravity. So all the baryonic matter goes into the core. So here we have all the baryons, so we have all the atoms. And then here we get a halo that is made out of dark matter. Now, you might think, why didn't dark matter go into the core? Um, since they're so heavy, you would think they will sink to the center. And what happens is that it doesn't really interact with the other, so it doesn't follow the same behavior. So dark matter didn't even interact with the gravity, and it just stayed outside. And then what happened later is that within the core, we get these lumps of baryonic matter. So we have these lumps that are rotating in the core, so they have their own orbits around uh, the center of the core, and they start colliding against each other. And what, uh, what happens here is during the collisions, they find this really, really dense uh, fronts. And what happens is that from this front, in, um, from the shock wave, you uh, start forming stars. So from this lump, you leave like a trail of stars. And little by little, all the lumps in the core became stars out of collisions. And then you end up with galaxies in the way that we are now. And that is, this is the bulge. This is a galactic disk. And this is the halo. The disk is made out of stars. The bulge is also made out of stars and the possible uh, supermassive black hole at the center, and the halo is still made out of dark matter. And that's step by step on the formation of the galaxy. My name is Eileen Pires, and I'm an astrophysicist.